from Sioux Falls to Tuscaloosa. Now, that sounds like one small town to another, but in terms of football, it is a giant leap. It is going from Sioux Falls to Los Angeles, basically. Kaitlin DeBoer, one time NAIA national champ at Sioux Falls, is now the head coach at the University of Alabama. Of course, there have been some stops in between. Kaitlin DeBoer just took Washington to the national title game. He was 25-3 and three in two seasons at Washington. And how did he wind up being the target of Alabama athletic director Greg Burns' search? Well, taking Washington to the national title game sure helps, but this is a guy who's been known in coaching circles for, for quite some time. He did a great job at Fresno State. Even the one year he was the offensive coordinator at Indiana, people were talking, saying this is a guy who is a future star. And you saw it when he got the job at Fresno State. You saw it when he took over at Washington, took a team that had gone 4-8 and eight the year before and went 11-2. and two. And then this year, he takes Washington to the national title game. Excellent coach. Great offensive mind. Now, here, here's the question. Will he bring Ryan Grubb, his offensive coordinator, with him? It's Ryan Grubb, remember, interviewed for the Alabama offensive coordinator job last year that Tommy Rees wound up getting. And Grubb decided to stay at Washington with DeBoer, who he's worked with for most of his career. Does Grubb get the Washington job? Or, or does Washington look outside, bring in somebody else, which would allow DeBoer to potentially bring Grubb with him to Alabama because I think the the offensive players for the Crimson Tide would certainly want to know that. The other question is, who else is on Kalen DeBoer's staff? Because he's worked in the Midwest, he's worked in the West, but he's not worked in the Southeast before. And as we all know, the SEC is a different recruiting animal, and it helps to have some people who have experience recruiting the SEC. You do not want another Auburn Brian Harson situation where most of his staff did not understand how to recruit in the SEC, and it showed in the results. So how many guys who are currently on Alabama staff have a chance to stay because of their experience? Does Jimmy Sexton, who is Kalen DeBoer's agent, help hook him up with guys who have SEC recruiting experience? These are all questions that have to be answered sometime in the next few weeks. The transfer portal is open, obviously, because Alabama lost its coach, Nick Saban. So you, you've got to find out if you can keep the guys on your roster, Isaiah Bond, the receiver, the hero of the Iron Bowl this year, he entered the portal on Friday. So it's possible that there's some really good players that are pondering leaving, and you got to make sure you recruit them first, and then you, you start working on everybody else. But very interesting move. We'll see what Washington does. What will the reaction be in Alabama? Nick Saban will be around, remember. Nick Saban's going to have an office in the football complex. So I would imagine if Kalen DeBoer needs any help getting acclimated, Nick Saban can help him and probably can give him some advice about which assistants to keep, which assistants to look at that maybe Saban didn't already employ but always wanted to employ. That would probably be very valuable advice. But we will find out more as Kalen DeBoer gets to Tuscaloosa and fills us in on his plan. But Right now, Alabama has its man, Kalen DeBoer, one-time head coach at the University of Sioux Falls, is now your head coach at the University of Alabama. So the lineage of Bear Bryant, of Nick Saban, Kalen DeBoer now taking over. No pressure. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never Miss an episode of Andy Staples on three. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the on three sports YouTube channel.